had no intentions of recording anything today, but you guys are so nice outside. Like, look at that. It's, it's, it's so nice outside. I had to go outside. I had to, you know, just lay out in the sun as if I haven't had enough. Uh, but she could never have enough sun. Like, I could lay out in the sun for hours if I wanted to. The only reason why I didn't was because the laptop was going to overheat. <laughs> And I just wanted to come in kind of early and get myself settled because I have to get up super early in the morning tomorrow. Um, but I'm just loving it here. Like, I need to come here leisurely one day and stay here because it's, it's really nice and peaceful. It's not like a turn up hotel or anything. I really love it. It's gorgeous. San Juan is, is Miami Beach basically. But a more calm Miami Beach, like what Miami Beach probably used to be, or what Miami Beach could be if it didn't get so ratchet, <laughs> if it didn't have so many party people. Um, and San Juan could be that too, like, don't get it twisted. So I'm gonna just chill out here. I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm gonna order something to eat like I've been ordering from Uber Eats and DoorDash too many times this week um but I really you know otherwise like how am I eat how am I eat they have restaurants here but I don't know I don't want anything like I think they have like a Ruth Chris like it's good at all but yeah I know Uh, so I want some some Puerto Rican food for sure I know I want something with rice and even though I should not be eating rice with my stomach looking like this uh, some rice and beans <laughs> and some chicken or steak uh, or both so and for sure some plantains for sure you know I can't eat anything without it um, so I'm going to just go shower freshen up and just get into a Zen mood you know eat something and settle in so oh yeah I'm gonna edit too that's what I've been you know spending most of my time doing I'm gonna finish editing not finish but continue editing because I know I'm not gonna finish today and then uh, I'll be back home tomorrow evening and then I can start my week basically because I have a lot of things to do I need to take my car to get serviced I need to um, take my glasses frames to four eyes so I can get new glasses because I've been wearing my contacts lately and I like wearing my contacts especially when I know I'm wearing my makeup and I don't want to get my face messed up but days when I'm just chilling at home and I'm not wearing any makeup, I don't want to run and put contacts in my eyes. Like, I just don't. <laughs> I just want to throw on my glasses and be happy. Or days when I'm just driving to and from running errands, I just want to throw my glasses on. And I don't want to wear contacts. Like, first of all, it's not easy to put contacts in my eyes. Like, I'm still not a pro at putting contacts in my eyes it does take a little while to get in so yeah I'm one of those people I need to have my glasses close by so I got about three frames and I got them from Zilu I think that's what it's called at first I wasn't sure about it I'm like why are these frames so cheap and they look so good and then other people were saying oh yeah I got my frames from there they're really good so I got them they took forever they took a little bit over a month to come you know it's coming straight from china so it took forever to come but they came and they're so cute i'll show them to you guys they're so cute all three of them and i'm gonna see how much it costs to put um my prescription in all three of them because i just kind of want to have them like one in my car one by my bed one in my work bag i want to be able to switch them up i got a red one I got a tortoise shell one. I got two tortoise shells, like, you know, different designs. Um, so I'm going to show them to you and tell me which one you like. 
but yeah that's like <laughs> maybe tomorrow all right you guys so i'll check back with you later so y'all i didn't even realize i'm smacking like that i'm so sorry ew you know what my boyfriend told me that's what i started doing and i didn't realize it until i watched that that video back and i'm smacking a lot like i'm like i'm smacking a lot that's so gross I just got braces I'm not getting used to them I've had braces now for like three weeks so it's still kind of fresh mm, I was about to start it again so I have to get used to having braces in my mouth I feel like I'm gonna drool if I don't like you know close my mouth and there you go <laughs> oh my god I'm like what what you guys um I have a lot to do today <laughs> And I'm starting late, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to get as much done as possible because yeah, that's my fault. You see a trend? Um, yeah, I'm always late, but I mean, I'm just running errands. So, is there really a time frame? I'm just trying to do as much as I can today so you see me? so I'm just gonna do a um like a, a light beat today I'm saying that now but really I'm just gonna try to do a light beat <coughs> for errands cuz Who's trying to do the most? I'm breaking out right here. I was breaking out right there. My lace glue spilled over in my hair bag. And it's my travel hair bag. And um, instead of me like getting a new one, I completely forgot. I threw away the old the lace glue that spilled over my bag thinking oh I'm just gonna get another one and I needed it today I wanted to secure my weight today and I couldn't like and I almost had a connection like I'm the type of person that whenever things don't go my way and the least little thing throws me off instead of me just continuing on with my day i completely like i'm ready to cancel everything like and i will you know and it stunted a lot of things with me a lot of my growth with like you know goals of mine and just like little stuff like oh i was supposed to go somewhere and then my outfit didn't come that I had in my mind so you know cancel the whole entire thing like literally throw a little temper tantrum and just not go and I tend to do that a lot with things and it does not you know help me out instead of just me rolling with the punches like I tend to just like let things go I've tried starting like little businesses and because stuff didn't go my way which you know everyone goes through hurdles with businesses like I will completely just take it as a sign to just like give up instead of just keep going because everyone goes through things and it's something that I didn't know I needed to work on until <sighs> until today like I need to stop it's, you know, it's a problem. I like, I, you know, I'm still learning about myself and that's something that I need to work on. Like stop canceling things or, you know, discontinuing something if things don't go my way at that point. Whenever I go to Target, it makes me feel so good and that's one of the things that I'm doing today. I'm going to Target and I just have a lot of things to do. And sometimes like do my makeup motivates me to actually get out of the house. Even 
though I'm running errands and I have to do it like believe it or not I will put these things off and off and off and off and off I hate the cr like I hate the crunchy look child I'm gonna do a middle part and you know what gives that crunchy look the got to be sorry not sorry does Zara shirt that you've seen before with the shoulder pads. I tucked it in. It got burnt by the iron, but you can't see it anyways. So um, these joggers are from Pretty Little Thing, and I liked it. It had like these little faint write-ins on it. It's cute. Um, sneakers are New Balance. Let me see if I could get like a, a close-up or something. I love these little shoes. I love the colors. They're so pretty. So yeah, I got these shoes from Urban Outfitters. Because they always have all these cute little... Wait, was it Urban Outfitters or was it ASOS? They always have like these cute little, um, you know, unique sneakers, colors. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And I have my little Bottega Dupe crossbody bag that I got from TJ Maxx. So yeah. Y'all, before I could even do anything, I had to stop and get myself some Starbucks. I had to. So I wanted I wanted to try the hot girl summer drink. And I seen this on Instagram actually. Maybe I seen it on um TikTok first. But it's Trenta Lemonade with a splash of mango dragon fruit, one pump classic, splash of strawberry acai passion tango tea and top and dragon fruit inclusions on top but i was so scared to to order i felt like i was gonna be a headache <laughs> see when you don't get what you want if you don't actually go out for i was i felt like i was gonna be a headache i feel like i'm a headache when i'm ordering that matcha that's that little tiktok matcha drink everyone's talking about and they're like oh oh the tiktok drink the tiktok drink like but that hot girl summer summer lemonade it has like a whole lot going on and i'm just like i don't want to be a headache to anyone today so yeah i was nervous to order it <laughs> but after this i'm going to um us no ups and then I think I want to stop at Einstein's because I know they're the Einstein's right next door. And then I'm going to go to USPS, which is usually the worst. USPS is usually the biggest, the biggest headache to me because it just takes forever for anything to get done. All right, you guys, I came back because I forgot um, the glass, my frames, because, you know, I want to get new prescription glasses and I completely forgot them and you remember when I was telling you about those Zlul glasses well it comes in this packaging um, this is not sponsored but it's for the low so I have to let you guys in on everything and this is one of the frames you guys like this I'm starting off from my least favorite uh, can you, can you see it? 
it's cute it's cute or whatever it's really big for my face um because i wanted a pop of color okay you can see it better here you like it sophisticated <laughs> Mm, I look like I'm not forgetful, right? <laughs> but I am. I, yeah, love these glasses. I can't wait. Um, yeah, I wanted to have options this time. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm going to Four Eyes and I'll see what they say about the prices. If it's a little bit too much, then we gonna have to like leave one or two of them, but. <laughs> If the price is right, then I'll get my prescription placed in all three of them because I want to have all of They're charging me $240 for one frame to get my prescription in them and that's each frame two hundred and forty dollars guys I just left Target my camera died but it's not what happened again because I have extra batteries um, we're on our way to Macy's right now because you know my boyfriend needs to get a few things and uh, who knows I might pick some stuff up <laughs> you bet not Okay, so we're going to Pembroke Gardens, the shops of Pembroke Gardens, which is a little outlet mall here in South Florida. And yeah, he needs to get his socks. So, I, oh, I need work shoes. I need work shoes. Because I left my work shoes at work. <laughs> um, so, I want to go on DSW. Going into DSW to get some work shoes. Yeah. And if I pass so happen to just like, my nose is the shoe, you guys, sorry. If I just so happen to pass on Bath and Body Works and they're having a sale, because I don't keep up with Bath and Body Works, like, I feel like once you get wrapped up in Bath and Body Works, it's a wrap. Like, you're always gonna like want to buy stuff. Um, and you'll never get rid of anything because how much lotion and body, you know body sprays could last forever. I still have body sprays from like seven years ago that I haven't gotten rid of. And I don't like wasting things so I won't just throw them out. Um, but yeah, I don't ever buy things from Bath & Body Works unless someone just gives them to me as a gift. I'll take it and I will I'll use it, but I don't get wrapped up into like, you know, looking for the sales and getting the coupons and stuff like that, but I'll see what they have because I want some room spray. Yeah.
dates that have free drinks for ladies on those days. Looking for a man. <laughs> yeah. Because you have a certain type of man coming to pick up women without having to spend any dime. Hey, little to nothing. You're gonna get the um the scrum. trying to have a night and um just to get some food and you know a cute little vibe so i'm not wearing these shoes but we're in this orange number right here this is from pretty little thing and i love this dress very listen i'm so taped up right now it's not even funny um but i think this dress is really flattering and i have it in black as well but the black is just a little bit bigger I wanted to return it but um run out of time they're no longer gonna accept it so I'll work it out but I love this dress small dainty necklaces Nordstrom rack earrings Louis Vuitton and I only have a little watch on my wrist hey guys, we are leaving the war for Lauderdale we couldn't record we can't bring a cat. It literally says no cameras right outside. The drinks are a little, you know, up there, but the vibe is nice. The food is good. There's so many different options. It has several different food trucks. Um, definitely coming back again. I've been here before, but it was literally freezing cold, and I couldn't enjoy myself like I wanted to because it was cold. It was like. I think it was in January, like early January, like one of the only times that um, South Florida gets cold. But I will definitely come back here. It's such a good vibe. 